Hale. John, are you uh, back behind the bench for these final two games? Yes. You guys are getting another look at, at Bobby uh, tonight. What, what do you think about his games over the weekend, Friday, Saturday? He's played well. Yeah, he's played well. He puck finds him. Uh, he's made some good plays, uh, working away from the puck. Um, he's in the conversation. Rocky talked about kind of his uh, Bobby's five-on-five -five play and tracking and reloading and some of those those Indian strength things he's needed to work on. How have you seen those improvements? I guess you know maybe over the last year or especially in this in this camp. Yeah, well, just, again, we I, I didn't watch much of him last year, but it, it's something. Uh, we've brought to his attention, very coachable. Um, certainly the biggest thing we want to see is, is the offensive part of his game, uh, but the other part he's working at too. Obviously, this is probably an oversimplification because there's a lot of different ways the lineup can shake, shake out, but it's not hard to look at Brink and Forrester kind of battling for a spot. Obviously, if Tyson played last year, he impressed last year in the, at the NHL level, Bobby didn't. Mm -hmm. Are you guys evaluating the two of them solely based on how they perform at this camp, or does Tyson have a boost because of what he showed last year? Well, I'm not so sure. It's it's between those two guys, you know. But but we, when we evaluate, we certainly. Um, I I just talked to a player that we sent down yesterday. I won't give you the name, but did some really good things last year. Struggled a little bit during camp this year. But I called them yesterday, let them know we, we don't just evaluate on uh, uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this year. We, we certainly saw some things last year, uh, maybe a little bit of a struggle on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we bring it all into the picture. So it, it, isn't, um, it isn't just based on what's happening now. We certainly have to be cognizant of what we saw during uh, uh, some of the things like with Tyson, especially with Tyson. Uh, some of the abilities that he has from last year. What has been your evaluation of, of Tyson's camp so far? I, I don't think it's been as bad as a lot of people. I'm, I'm not sure how it's being written out there, or th but uh, I don't think it's been as bad as uh, uh, be, because you're always looking at numbers. Everybody looks at numbers. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I, if I thought he was uh, uh, on the wrong side of uh, preparing and uh, arrogance, it'd be a concern. I think he's just adding pressure to himself. I think that's what's happened a little bit to him offensively. Uh, so that's something he's just got to work through. And where it all falls, I don't know. I, I, um, a, number of, a number of guys from, from camp that, uh, that I wasn't sure of have, have done some really good things. Uh, uh, some guys have been a little bit of a disappointment, but I don't want to uh, make a snap judgment because there's been a struggle for a few days within a training camp. John, you said you didn't know Brink a ton last year. Obviously, you didn't see him up here. Like, how much has he really forced himself into the conversation with his playing games? Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's how he – it's not through uh, him talking. It, it's, he's played. You know, he, he hasn't been safe. Uh, he's tried to make plays. Made some mistakes along the way, but goes right back and tries to make another play. Um, really good in the power play. Uh, you, you can see he thinks the next play. You can see that. And, um, and this is what he is. Uh, you know, this is why he was drafted. And uh, it, he gets banged up, doesn't have a really good year because of all of that. Has had a good summer of training and has come in and put himself into a conversation with us as far as what we do with him. You talked a little bit last week about wanting to see how Cal Peterson responded to that first preseason game. It seemed like he played a little better Friday. What played much better. Him? Yeah. What have you liked about his response to that? Yeah, that, that was important for him. Uh, um, you know, the, the first one, again, w when we talked about it, it's such a hard, those first couple uh, are just so hard to evaluate. But, but for a goalie, when the team stinks, in front of you, that's where it gives you a chance to maybe make a big save or two. It didn't happen, but I thought he played so much better. Uh, uh, so that's that's good. Uh, again, the goaltending situation, we keep on evaluating, and uh, we'll see where we go. Well, John, what do you see from Sean as camp moves along here? And, and how Sean, you, Sean who? Victoria, yeah. And how will you know um, that he's ready for the kind of role that he was in before? 
Yeah, I, I think Coots has, has just gone about his business very steady. Um, uh, I can see he wants to get into contact. Uh, uh, first shift, I think it was in Boston, he, he banged in a corner. I think he's testing himself. Um, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him at all during camp. Uh, uh, just let him go about it. I, I would think the, probably the biggest thing uh, for him is to get through it all mentally. Uh, can he play in the areas? That's a big part of his game. Um, so I'm leaving him alone. I, I, I trust him uh, with everything he's trying to do. I think he's kind of waded into it and gone about it very slowly about his business. I think it's probably the proper thing to do. Um, encourage that no one's come to me. He hasn't come to me. The trainers haven't come to me and said, you know, maybe we need to give him a little time, not for a second. Uh, that, that's the only time I've talked to him is checked with him the next day. Uh, how do you feel? He's fine. So we'll, we'll play it out. And uh, again, I trust him. I think he's going to be a big part of it. Will the goalies split the game tonight? No, Urs is going to play all three. Urs is going to play all three periods. Which I'm to, to Bobby Branco, back to him. Mm -hmm. This will be his third game in four days. You know, obviously, that's going to be tough for anybody, but especially for a guy who isn't, hasn't been an NHLer, mm -hmm. even though it's preseason. Do you. I wouldn't say cut him some slack, but are you cognizant, cognizant oh, sure. of that? Oh, sure, sure. And, and like when we put him in back to back, um, you know, we all talk that we, we need to be careful here. And uh, and then what does he do? He makes a great play right in, right away in the game, and uh, did some other good things too. Yeah, we're cognizant of that, and um, but we still want to see him play. We we have six six games, and I think he deserves to be in that lineup to keep on showing us. Uh, but we certainly know how much work he's put in and how many games he's played here uh, the last little bit. In addition to playing with uh, Glory and Hathaway, you've taken a look at paneling in some power play situations, six on five late in the game. Obviously, he's scored a couple goals in those situations. Is he making a case to maybe you know, ex find usage for him in situations he hasn't been used to playing? Yeah, he, 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 he's had a good camp. Uh, he can skate. He's long. Uh, I think he has an intelligence about the game. He's going to kill penalties. I've liked the line. Uh, I, I think that line has played really well. Um, I'm not sure w does it translate into power play time. I, I think there's other people we're going to work there. But uh, you could see how Rocky used them the other night uh, in all different types of situations, based sometimes on the lineup. But the, the, the face-offs, uh, I, I think it's going to be really key with Coots and him and uh, I think Casey's going to keep improving. That's a huge, that will be a huge upgrade for us as far as face-offs. I, I talked to his old coach, Sully, uh, out, in, out in Pitt, and he kind of gave me a rundown and, uh, about his intelligence. You can see he thinks the game. So it's a, yeah, that's a good one. And, and he, you know what? The thing I respect about him, he's betting on himself. Signs a one-year deal, and, and I'll show you. And uh, uh, that, that goes a long way with me, too. Yeah, yeah, but three or four of them, yeah. But the other ones, uh, uh, we're going to keep watching. Um, York plays tonight. He's been banged up, so he plays tonight. I'm not sure where he fits in all of it here. Um, you know, Mete's had a good camp. Uh, uh, Ronnie will play again tonight. I, I thought there was a you know a little bit of a struggle to his game the other night. Well, he's going to go again tonight. Uh, that's a position as we're, we're, we've been in front of it. It, it's we're going to have some some aches and pains uh, after games, but we have to look at our kids and see uh, how we go about it as we as we keep on building the team. So nothing's locked in as far as pairs by any means. You're a team that you know you, you look at some of the guys up front, whether it's Cam or, or Konechny, um not the biggest guys. How mm -hmm. much will size factor into these final decisions here as you're putting the roster together and? How important is it to have some size in the top nine, just from your perspective? Yeah, it, you know, I, I think it's not so much size in the top nine. I, I think every team's looking for size. The game's changed a little bit in that part of it. But when you, for me, like I look at Vegas and I, I look at their back end and their size and how that stood out come playoff time. Uh, you know, Zamula's playing again tonight, who I thought played really well the other night. Uh, you got Yinning, uh, you have Sani, you got Ristow, and uh, 
that that's where I think a lot of that comes into play, where guys like Cam and, and TK, their quickness can just take over. Um, you're looking to be everybody's looking for size because when you when you do get to the real stuff in playoffs that that it's really needed but uh you know the speed and and quickness is still a huge part of the game now back end is something uh that i that i think really stands out as far as taking up the room uh so you know z, z plays again tonight i hope he plays another good game he, he's he's in the conversation uh, so there's some really good things going on with some guys that we're hoping. Uh, and now we still have some hope as, we, as we're getting near the end of this camp.